Hello guys, yes, so as you can see it's a tutorial on how to enable SSH on Cisco ASA I have with me today Cisco ASA 5506X which is the firepower Now the commands I'm about to show to you it's applicable on the 5505s as well and other versions and variant of the Cisco ASA suite um, what I'm going to do now is console onto this ASA and enable SSH um, sometimes um, it's, it's not always feasible for you to console anywhere else because you don't want to be in a, in a call data center but you might want to be able to allow um, console access sorry SSH access from a particular zone a security zone that you've specified on your network now when I do ifconfig here you will see that I have um, a subnet with an IP address that I'm configured on locally on this Ubuntu device and as you can see it's a slash 30 so 252 I would want to be able um, to sort of go ahead and connect to my ASA from this zone okay so what I need to do first is just console on then configure my my search access and then come back to it so I'm gonna go ahead and go launch button and serial and I know my serial interface it's a USB zero go ahead press enter and so I'll follow the instructions here now to do that you can see here it says first create your private or public key pair so you go to conf interface t but before that find the name of that interface uh, that you expect ssh assets from so uh, show ip interface brief is what you'd have used on a regular cisco but um, on ASA to show interface ip brief and the zone I'm interested in is the zone here. All right, so let's find out the name of the zone. So show, pardon me, show run interface giga one slash one. And it says it's called the name of the interface. Name if is cloud one. Okay, it's very important uh, for the stuff you're about to perform. So I'm going to head over here. Let's reduce this a little bit so we can have a bit of. Uh, let's do first one. So conf configure terminal or conf t, and it's the command as you can see crypto key generate RSA general keys modulus and it's two zero four eight. Press enter. I say yes, I've already configured this anyway. Then let's go to the next command. I want to create a user account. So username and let's create one uh, SHUSR. That's the name of the user that I want to create. SHUSR PWD. It will complain. It doesn't complain. It just overwrites it for me. Perfect. That's good. And then I have to now tell. Is uh, what you expect this SSH access. Um, so I'll say uh, AAA authentication SSH console and local. Now you say it's already as if because I've done that already, and now I, need, I want to specify uh, welcoming SSH version 2, a secured version of uh, SSH 2 and then where do I want to come from remember earlier on we went to the interface and we checked which zone security zone it was um, and it was cloud one so I'm going to go ahead and do SSH I want you to allow SSH from here and the name of the interface question mark and it says cloud one because that gigabit one slash one so over here I do cloud one it might say it already is this because I've done it already but these are the commands you type um, exit that 
close this. Launch bots again and go to 10.98.10.9, which is the IP address of interface gigabit 1 slash 1. SSH on 22, it says yes. Good, that's a good sign. SSH USR is the username. SSH USR PWD is the password I used. Excellent. And you can see it's working. And that's it. Show run. Interface gigabit one slash one. I'm in. All right, so this is how you go about it. So now um, let's verify the commands. Show run. Um, let's look at SSH, okay? Begin crypto. So, so we created a crypto. It's hiding actually. It's, it's all created by the hiding actually, but um, you get what I mean. So, this is what I need. And I also need uh, my user account. I think I saw it earlier on somewhere. Scroll down. Uh, let's do show run. Yeah, got that. I've got that. And finally, where's my user account? Okay, so show run include user and here we go okay it's encrypted now so you don't see the password so this is a quick way to do it um i hope uh, this has been good um i'm going to leave this here for you to see first you create a private and public key pair use that command over there create a user account for device management so the local account you want to use uh for administration and management from ssh there you go specify the user account um as a local and then allow the version of SH you want and then permits that uh, zone so over here I'm gonna change that and what I did was my interface name or uh, the name of the interface was cloud one yeah so cloud one so um, that's all you need um, all the best and enjoy see you in the next one thank you for viewing